<laughs> oh, we did. Uh, we did. Uh, hello. How are you? Can I get you anything? <laughs> a watch, perhaps? No, I'm kidding. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Sit down, grab a seat. I'm back here in Hong Kong to perform at Saver. I was here in 2019. I did the sound check, and then I went back to my hotel room. I got into drag, and then my manager knocked on the door, and the protests had started, and the streets were blocked off, and we had to cancel the gig. And so I flew back, I think, to London. Uh, and so this is sort of a bit of a do-over. I'm back now. It's 2023. And we've had a glorious night doing my show. It was lovely. Oh, I miss Hong Kong. It's so good to be back. And it's so good that Hong Kong is back as well. I know that it's, it's been a rough few years, so I'm glad to be here celebrating with everybody for Hong Kong's reopening. Hong Kong's just such a vibrant city. Like, there's so much to it. It's such a melting pot of culture, so cosmopolitan, and I just love, um, I just love it's such a vibrant city, yeah. Here's the thing. There's a very, very small vocal minority who have extreme views, and we've seen drag in Tennessee be banned in public places. It's become an adult license sort of performance. And, you know, the pendulum swings. I think that people need to be activated, they need to be passionate, but I don't think they need to be worried. I love all my Drag Race sisters, but I'm still in contact every week with Adore, Bianca and Darian. We have a little group message. And then of course my AAA girl sisters, Willem and Alaska.